It's amazing to find this in a retirement community. It's a professional television station and production company. And this connects you to a community of other creative people. But to me, it, being creative, it, it's the next highest feeling to me than, than love. It's such a joyful experience, even though it's hard. It's a part of my life, and to stay active and young and uh, alive. I'm happy that he's working. I'm happy that you guys have accepted his wacky sense of humor and taken him in and allowed him that creative freedom. He's fabulous. So this is, this is almost a labor of love. I never thought about playing Shane, but I think it, it's really great. He likes to spend time in his room, and the time that he gets out is mostly because of Channel 22. Uh, he doesn't come home very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I would just tell people to come with your ideas no matter how far off the table, on the table. It's so much fun. Now it's just fun, nothing's at stake. Uh, I don't really have to please anybody. I can experiment. Brings out stuff you never thought you had. And you do it and you say, you know, I'm not very good, but I still like it. You know, so how do I improve? Contributing to the creative process helps fill my day and is the best medicine for my ALS. It gives my days more purpose. If you're at one iota creative in the industry... Then you're used to doing it, and you've been doing it for a long time as a matter of routine. You can't shut it off. It's a habit that won't go away, really. Why do you think you're still creative? Uh, I'm going to give you five minutes <laughs> to retract that question because it's the dumbest question I ever heard, okay? <laughs>